Good afternoon, good afternoon, kings and queens. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Business Strategies and Tips with Lady L. I am your host, Lady L of Success Beyond Strategies, LLC. Building strategies that become successful actions, helping business owners and entrepreneurs identify their vision, mission, and purpose, turning them into legal realities, successful and profitable business entities brought to you by the Magnet Exchange Group, a book club, a social club of like-minded individuals with a powerful magnetic attraction that develops healthy relationships, personal development, sharing wisdom and experiences, and generational wealth development and wealth preservation. I will be giving you information on how you can connect with us throughout the program. I am so excited to be back with you guys. I guess you said, wow, where did she go? Was just on a little hiatus, was planning a family reunion. I want to talk about that a little bit. It was so exciting. It was interesting and just give a word of encouragement on that, but it was just awesome, you know, to bring my children and my grandchildren together. And we are affectionately known as Grandmama's Bougie Purple Table. And we have been meeting throughout the pandemic, plandemic. Y'all know me, that's what I call it. And we had an opportunity that since we did have that window of opening, that the world opened up just a little bit to where you could actually plan something, you know, a little bit in advance. So we were able to do that and come to find out there have been a boatload of people who have been going to family reunions for the past three months. There are some people that are still transitioning. So that's also giving people a reason to really come together collectively. There's some weddings going on. There's some births going on. So life is still going on, even though we've had some challenges and we don't know what's up ahead coming toward the end of this year, but I'm here to tell you and to encourage you, please, ma'am, please, sir, take the time out to make some arrangement, take a plane, train, bus, drive, whatever you have to do, connect with your family. It is so critically important that you make the time, that you make the arrangements, that you physically connect. We've been connecting over media such as this, and you know it's, it's still no substitute. And I know technology is gonna do what it's due, but honestly, it will never, ever, ever take the place of that physical connectivity, that laying eyes on each other, arms around each other, hugging and loving and kissing up on each other, encouraging each other, battling back and forth with each other, learning each other again. We were talking about that in our Life Changing Alliances class this morning, that when you are with family, friends, people that you've known for 20, 30, 40 years that, hey, their family too, because family's just not blood, okay? Take the time to listen, to be present in the moment, and strive to understand. You know, we grew up in a generation where you want people to do things the way you are accustomed to doing things, and quite nicely, that's slavery. We have to appreciate and embrace other people's uniqueness, the, their character, good or bad or indifferent, and just get to understand, listen to understand, not listen so that you can get the next word in because you're not paying attention to what they're saying. You're just waiting for your turn to get the next word in. No, really listen, really engage yourself, really be present, and then Strive to understand, just like you want to be understood, strive to understand someone else. And you will be surprised. You will learn a lot about yourself, understanding yourself simply by understanding others. Because when you're with family, y'all see each other. You, you see yourself and your kids, their dad and their kids. You see their grandparents in them. You, you see all of the family members, aunties, uncles. I saw all of my family in my kids. And it's like, oh my God, I even went back to my own childhood just listening and just being present and, and just striving to understand their point of view, their side of things, how they view things, how they see things. Because if you want to be relatable, to this generation, 
You have got to pay attention to them, listen to them, hear them, and strive to understand. So I'm just excited about the experience. It also gave me a time to be a little reflective on my business and, and the gifts and talents and callings and anointings and, and the different assignments that and the visions that I believe God has given to me. So I said, okay, God, what are we going to do with this show you have given me, this platform that you have so graciously given me that I'm so grateful and so thankful and so appreciative for because we get to deposit what God has poured into us in the hopes that it will be a blessing, that it will be a help, that even if it's a little confrontational, because as we're told in our university of the man in exchange, truth is controversial, ask Jesus. He brought the truth and they killed him. So enough said, right? So with that being said, what I'm bringing on Monday through Friday, because I miss y'all coming in on every day. Friday's cool. I'm still going to have my Friday business strategies and tips with Lady L, bringing in my special guests that'll be coming in. I'm still inviting some of my kings from the Magnet Exchange Group. You're going to meet some of my queens. Let me tell y'all, we got some powerful queens in our LCA Life Changing Alliances and Magnet Exchange Group. And I want to give them a platform so that you can hear the great and awesome things that is being done in their lives and their businesses from ground floor to I've been in business for a minute, till I've been in business over five plus years, and some that have been in business most of their lives. So we're going to be talking about a whole lot of gambit of, of topics and subjects pertaining to business development. And we're going to also have different panels from time to time. I'm going to have my panels of kings. I'm going to have a panel of my queens and just other business connections that I've made over my career in life you know, in business. So I'll be bringing on a whole bunch of people and, and I'm excited about the rest of this year. It's going to be good regardless of what happens on the outside. If there, if there's platforms such as this and uh, God give me a voice and continue to keep me, my mind sound, we're going to get it in. All right. So what I'm also going to be doing is giving some encouragement. I'm going to be giving, uh, business ideas still and, and just, giving you empowerment every day. I have days with a Z, D-A-Y-Z, days of the week, giving golden nuggets with a Z on the end of that too. Just every day for a few minutes, you know, sharing business, business wisdom keys and sharing announcements and giving encouragement, giving you updates. You know, and some of the guests, if you've been following me uh, throughout these months, I have had some awesome updates. Thank you to everyone who donated to our Toast of Charities for Henry for Music. We got instruments. We had a crowd that was, we were shocked. It was like, okay, this is good. And still giving instruments, still setting up with school systems and bringing uh, music education to them and instrument instruction to them. So we're excited about that. Thank you uh, for those that supported the Frierson Brothers and the Frierson Foundation on their all-you-can-eat buffet that was this past Saturday as well. It was a huge success financially, group-wise, being able to prepare for the book bag giveaway that they are going to have by the end of this month. Let's see. I'm going to share my screen because I want you to see the awesome work that they're doing. If you are in the Peshat Avenue School, attention to all my Peshat Avenue School alma maters, my alumni from Newark, New Jersey, back to school, book bag and giveaway. All families are welcome. Saturday, August 27th at 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., but don't bank on them being there all day giving out the book bags. You may want to catch them a little bit early, but look at our awesome sponsors that are coming forth, and, and really it, it gets bigger and bigger every year. With whatever number they started with, they double it every year. So that's at the playground on Peshawn Avenue School, 433 Peshawn Avenue, North New Jersey. Free food, games, music, fun, activities. And you may have a few uh, gospel artists there to give you some surprises. So you want to attend that. 
Check out the uh, information uh, for Mr. Armstrong, 201-577-4396. For the Frierson Foundation, 973-280-7076. Please, ma'am, please, sir, make sure that you are supporting them to make sure that our children have what they need for school. Then we have another opportunity that I get to share business strategies and tips for, it's for anyone who gets on the Zoom. The Urban League of Essex County hosts the Become an Entrepreneur Steps to Starting a Business. It's every third Wednesday of the month. And you will be able to, okay, let me put on my eyes. need some extra eyes right here. Print's a little bit tiny. And I usually can read tiny print. But the meeting ID on Zoom is 856-8743-0569. Passcode U is in umbrella, L is in Larry, E is in Edward, C is in Charlie, 2022. Every third Wednesday of the month at one o'clock. So that will be next week. So if you are free during those times, please, ma'am, please, sir, avail yourselves and check it out. Check it out. Let's see another event that is going on. See if it'll pop up for me. Okay, the roundtable nights of Jonesboro, Georgia, has a meet and greet on Monday, August the fifteenth, from six thirty p.m. to seven thirty p.m. featuring Wede Hare. She is a relationship banker from Truist Bank. Branch Banking and Trust, she will be sharing some funding resources and information for small businesses. That Zoom number is 820-2322-1846, passcode 910128. You can also go to my Facebook page, Laverne P. Sproul, and you can check out the flyer posted there. If you are in the Georgia area, please, ma'am, please, sir, avail yourself to the information that will be available at that time as well. And I believe my final announcement, let me see if I can get it up in my window. Okay, I'll just read that out. The Frierson Foundation and One Voice Communication presents Nor Remembers the Maestro, Derek Lee, Saturday, October the 8th at 6 p.m., we will be taped for television. So as we say, it will be televised. We have our donation fee for that. You can, it's going to be held at the New Hope Baptist Church, 108 Sussex Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. Everybody in Newark knows where that is. Oh, let me give you the lineup. We're going to have Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Dorothy Norwood, Beverly Crawford, Wes Morgan, Donnie Harper, and the New Jersey Mass Choir, you hoo, the Nashville Super Choir, the Frierson Brothers, our hosts as well, Providence Music Group, LeMay Battles, Samar Bigham of the Bigham family, Dr. Lester Taylor of Community Baptist Church of Inglewood, New Jersey, Pastor Joe Carter, who is also our host, our uh, location host at New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, New Jersey, and Doc, New Jersey, and Dr. Tiny Lucas. 
will be our worship leader. This is an event you do not want to miss. You know why? Because it is going to be hosted and emceed by Dr. Bobby Jones. So you do not want to miss that. Please, ma'am, please, sir, go to my Facebook page, Vern Peace Frule. And you will get those detailed information. You definitely want to make sure that you are in the place if you have the ability to be there. So with that being said, my time is almost up. I just wanted to give you all that runaround of information so that you know exactly how to mark your calendars every Friday at 2 o'clock. Of course, I'm going to have my business strategies and tips with Lady L and my host, for that show on next Friday is one of our kings, Myron Motown Lemon. And I'm here to tell you, you do not want to miss this show. He is going to give us the sauce for our ribs. Amen. And he is going to tell us about his company and what he does. He's also one of the kings of the Man in Exchange group. And I tell you, I am just so blessed to be connected to a group of like-minded individuals. It is so critically important to be connected to people that are going in the same or similar direction that you're going. It is so awesome to be connected to people who has your results. If anyone is doing what you are aspiring to achieve and do, and they're doing it successfully. And when I say successfully, that does not mean that they don't have ups and downs and ins and outs, but they're able to share with you their experiences. They're able to share with you their wisdom, their knowledge, their insight, their hindsight, and even their foresight, which we call lessons. And they're able to position you, to help position you for success. Connect to them. It is so critically important for your business, for your person, your personal development. What our kings have been uh, instilling in us this particular week is how important self-care is. You know, we get so wrapped up in businesses and some of us are, are still working, you know, for companies and other businesses in addition to what you might be doing to fulfill your purpose and, and goals and dreams and you, you, you can get overwhelmed. You can be in the midst of people, but not with them. You know, our, our King told us today, when you, when you have your children say to you, yeah, you spend time with us, but you're not here. You're multitasking. And we're going to talk about <laughs> the myth of multitasking. Okay. I know we all do it. I'm the queen of it, but I'm going to tell you, it's not effective. But we, I, I won't get on that soapbox right now. I just want you to be prepared. These nuggets that I'm going to share with you, I'm just going to give you a little tidbit. Mondays, and you guys have really heard me say this for those that have been really following me. But now it's time to take it to the next level with our Fresh Start Mondays, our Tackle It Tuesdays, our Work It Out Wednesdays our thankful Thursdays, our finished strong Fridays, our successful Saturdays, and then our worshipful Sundays. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to what God is going to say through me. Some of it is going to be impromptu. Some of it is whatever he drops in my spirit to share, to help you balance your work and your business, your business and your work your personal finances, your business finances, your business structure, your personal structures. Did you know you had a personal structure? Some people call it a schedule. Some people call it a daily plan. So many names it could be called, but we're just going to dive into a whole bunch of stuff that's going to help you with your business. That's going to help you with your person. That's going to help you with your balance. That's going to help you bring some wholesomeness, some wholeness to your life, that you can enjoy your business, you can enjoy your families and not feel stressed and burnt out. Not to say that these experiences won't happen, but it's so important that we empower ourselves. That's why I'm calling it business empowerment, days of the week, giving you golden nuggets that you can take these wisdom keys and 
and just the general information that may come. And feel free to put information in the chats when you listen to these live shows. And I'd appreciate some feedback. It's so critically important that I know that I am really addressing areas that, wow, I'm so glad she talked about that because I was just going through that today, or I was just going through that yesterday, or you know, I'm anticipating some things I need to accomplish and that's going to help me do it. That's what I want the impact of this show to do. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today with Business Strategies and Tips with Lady L and this being Finish Strong Friday. And we're going into our successful Saturday. Take tomorrow to breathe. Y'all know I always tell y'all that on a Friday. Breathe, do some self-care. We we have mandates today of going to get manis and petties and taking kids to manis and petties and lunches and buying toys and just living. You know, it's okay. It, it, oh, oh my gosh, something just dropped in my spirit, but I got to hold it. I got to hold it because we'll be on this call another hour and I don't want to do that to you. I want to make these uh, golden nuggets very short, quick, to the point because I value and respect people's time. I respect and value my time, but I want to make sure that what I give you is wholesome and that you can use it right away, that you can apply it to your lives right away and be able to be successful in your business endeavors. With that being said, have a awesome, awesome Finish Strong Friday and a successful Saturday where you do some reassessments and gather yourself together and just have a worshipful Sunday. Give God some glory because he brought you through another week. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And that's because he loves us so much. We'll even talk about some of that. Oh, man, I got a whole lot to pour out to y'all. Let me go. See you guys on Monday. We're going to start off fresh, okay? Bye-bye for now.